It is the last video from Dubai and we're gonna do today part two of luxury travel in Dubai. We're not in Egypt, even though it looks a little bit like that. We are in the Obelisk by Sofitel here. Today I want to take you along on a visual experience of a bit of a different world inside of the world of Dubai. It will be four days at a five-star hotel, the Obelisk, and at the end we will do a live update. Maybe get a bit personal as well. So well, what is special about that for us? Well, because we met there one year ago. Oh. Yep. I have kind of like high expectations for this place because we really got sold it actually yesterday. A guy we met, he was like, it's one of his favorite hotels ever. And like, oh, there's the frame. What's your first impression? Guys, we're like coming in and this huge bird above us, seriously, like you just come in and just jumps into your face. It's crazy. Close. Yeah, yeah, the curtains are closed. <laughs> Let's see, where's the button for the curtains? Wow. Oh my god, the skyline. This is wow. insane, as I like to call these wow. videos. Oh my god. I feel like every time we do a room tour, you know, the past few months there's been a bunch of hotels. I'm like, yeah, but the view is the nicest part. I don't know what to say here. Like, this would be a huge underestimation. So about the room, super nice, super clean. I'm, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it to Bianca. So basically, we have a very comfortable room. It's just like this bed is extremely comfortable, and then we have huge table, and it's always like Danny, just like that's his priority spot. And then what's craziest is like we can actually see one of the how do you call them the rulers like mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah the sheikh's house the sheikh's yeah maybe you mm -hmm. can see that maybe you can zoom yeah in I'll zoom in so it's not just like it's humongous yeah and then back there we have a very very big bathroom big bathtub shower area and then here. Well, like some people speak here also with a little bit of a French accent, so that's actually very nice. Staying in hotels, I like to check their backs, and this one is like so, yeah. like much details. I like it. Like. I'm just wondering, can I take this away with me? <laughs> if you don't take anything, that means you didn't like it. Everybody knows okay, that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, like. I don't think you can have the hair dryer, but, but maybe. No, that. just this, just this. I want a back. <laughs> For the next three, four days, we're gonna be exploring this hotel. It is designed in a like, really interesting way. It's a mix of Egyptian heritage and French service, as they say. And at first I was like, like, what is the story behind that? How does it make sense? French and Egyptian, and basically this building, it is in the shape of an obelisk. And so this is pretty much what the hotel was inspired by, by the obelisk that stands right now in Paris. So they kind of like wanted to combine French service, a little bit of a French flavor with Egyptian heritage. On your way in, you have uh, the Anubis statue, pretty much the jackal, kind of like, you know, reminds you a little bit of a dog. The, again, a lot of Egyptian mythology all over the place. But the craziest thing is the moment you walk in, you kind of like this huge golden falcon. If you stand here and you see people walking in, you can tell who comes in for the first time because the look goes straight up. It just, you know, you cannot miss it. And just walking overall, we actually plan to go to Egypt. Yeah, some things didn't work out with COVID, da, 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 uh, some other time, but on the list was Luxor. And actually, this is inspired by the city of Luxor. You have this kind of like humongous poles, and also I actually just the whole up. area is a little bit like Egyptian inspired. There's even a pyramid, and we're probably gonna visit it, I think, on Sunday. I'm gonna take you along as well. So, guys, this was a little bit the more formal part. For now, I'd say let's have fun, let's head out. Uh... <laughs> Guys, so we just came up to the sixth floor. We here we have the gym, we have the spa, but as you see outside the main area, super nice pool. This is actually the first time we come up here in like what is it, three three days we're already staying. 
So I think later we're gonna come back here. No, it's actually not. Perfect. We're by the pool. First time eating by the pool. It's so nice. First time in your life? It's actually true. Mm. Like having proper meals. Next time we come. Yeah, I brought sandwiches before myself, but that is that is a different level. Yeah. It's open space. They have kind of like a bar. But the cool thing is from the right perspective, you even have like a little bit of a skyline of the Burj Khalifa. So for a pool lunch, that looks super promising. I got a um, quinoa salad, actually one each. I'm going for a beef burger. Bianca has some, what is it, chicken shawarma? Yes. Right now, what is it, like uh, Monday, so yeah. very quiet, especially like hotel, hotel life. And a lot of people were actually asking, like, you know, how is it with the heat? Like, what do you think? Look at me, I'm dying out here. Like, it's crazy. You know, not too often you get to finish off the day staying inside of a viewpoint. I gotta say, the sunset at this place was definitely one of the highlights of the Dubai trip. It slows you down. And on that note, I would say we're gonna get into the evening activities. I wanna tell you about the different dining options that we had the chance to try out. So, for tonight's dinner, we're gonna be having Asian. Somebody is in the back smoking shisha and then... Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And then if you don't uh, can okay. find the shisha, you just take our nigiris and then okay. shisha is already inside. Yeah. And you get like, oh, wow, great experience. And then even if it's service is bad with me, then you yes. have a great experience because of shisha. Uh -huh. They just brought us here some type of shisha sushi. So basically he said they were smoking it with shisha smoke. This is actually super good. I think I'm gonna smoke all my food with shisha. Another night we tried the French restaurant. My personal highlight. Where are we going to the French restaurant tonight? So, something I think I haven't mentioned yet is all over Dubai, most of the restaurants they don't really have a menu on the table printed out. You get a little code. You scan it with your phone. I have to say, this is probably by far the best. Seriously, the food here is incredible. We actually even tried snails on the recommendation of the waiter. It was super good. What are you having right now? Like a moon without it. Hey guys, another day. Today I think we're gonna check out the mall that is right here. Let's see, there's a sign for the mall. Oh, the supermarket is right here. Seriously, babe. All the time I was like, one day we're gonna have to go to the supermarket. Look at that. <laughs> so throughout the mall, they have this like theme, Egyptian thing running through it and as we heard there's also outside like some like you know, like columns or something like that some type of market so I'm gonna check for it right now yeah guys we just got down here they have this like a market uh, it's called a souk mm -hmm. so we have a lot of traditional handcraft or uh, souvenirs here yeah, souvenirs. it's downstairs from the mall so we made it into a bit more of an outdoor area and actually it starts to remind me a little bit of Vegas just because they really set up a bit of a theme park. As far as I heard, the guy who came up with the concept, he was into Egyptian mythology so he wanted to set up a whole area that kind of like everything is a little bit connected. So our hotel is the Obelisk and right now we're gonna be going 
to the pyramids. Similarly, kind of so I guess we got invited to also the Ruffles Hotel as you have seen maybe in a second I'm gonna tour you around a little bit more but we're pretty much here to try kind of like what they call the afternoon tea I think and we have a smoked salmon with some mango and uh, fresh fruits mm -hmm. and your sweets okay guys so we got two sets of the afternoon tea and this one is traditional Arabic afternoon tea and this one is more like I would say more British or French I don't know more but girly. wow it's called floral. they look so beautiful but this one you know this one is a little bit more manly out here <laughs> this is how they sold it to me also it's a little bit more traditional a little bit more all right you guys lunchtime I'm gonna be having today hamburger and show us how big is the burger Mmm. Mmm. Want to try? There's enough for everyone here. <laughs> and so the other day we also got invited to try the afternoon tea at the Obelisk Hotel. And it's really in many ways become very popular and part of the Dubai culture. And even though it may be not something I would do every day, I hope you enjoy these visuals. Like a moment without ending. You know, I, I never thought I'm like a super girly girly girl. So afternoon tea was never really my thing, but when they brought this here, I was like, wow. <laughs> How can you not like this? This is just extremely like a girl's dream. Of different small desserts, they have real flowers as well. Mm. I'm sure you can eat it. <laughs> hmm? Squeeze Berry. Keep on smiling in my time. So the both two hotels are connected. I would say like the lobby here is huge. So just like stopping by for a coffee, we just had the afternoon tea. They have this little garden here. It's so like so nice to walk around. Super nice, especially super nice with 42 degrees. You get a tan like that. You're like on a turbo tanning bed, you know? Good morning. <laughs> so welcoming you right now from the gym. Actually, right now is the last day, and I've been here every morning. Uh, honestly, like super tired and burned out from the temperatures here, like every time you go out. So in terms of that, the energy level has been really low. I've been doing a lot of incline walking. Today, the first time having like a really nice and heavy upper body workout. I don't know if you see it, but I've been eating quite a lot the past few days, so got nice and filled up. And uh, the gym here, definitely one of the best equipped gyms the only thing is it's on the sixth floor, so you got like a nice view actually of this obelisk thing, the pyramid. I'm just thinking like, you know, I, like when they have a gym on like a higher floor, I'm just like, guys, you have such a sick building. Personally, that is like for me the best, the biggest thing to have like a nice view, but for a hotel gym, you know, I just hop in here for an hour. I'm training still full upper body, full lower body, and also you're gonna see in the next video, we're leaving the country today. Now we are on the second floor. They have like a breakfast buffet here. Uh, they have the two places for breakfast, but this one is my favorite. It's just like very yeah, you're a huge open, fan. open space, and you have a lot of choices as well. So I like it here. Right? It's like French. Uh, it's like every day I'm suggesting like, hey, let's try out the different breakfast we actually did at this point, but pretty much every day it's here because like the choice here is like really crazy. So mm -hmm. let's go take them for a loop and let's see what she's gonna be having. So this is a. Uh, where I make my salad every morning. I have my special ser uh, therapy. <laughs> therapy. Recipe. Recipe. Mm -hmm. So they got like a bunch of infused waters, healthcare city, elixir. Damn, what you got oh there. Oh my god, this omelette. They have like this salmon, smoked salmon inside, it's super thick. And also with the cheese. It's like their signature Perfect. omelette, something like. Yeah, with the goat, you see? We're in Dubai. Got you. <laughs> all right, all right. Moment of truth. Guys, I 
truth. I don't know. <laughs> so, about today's clickbait. How did we meet? And also, let's say, wrapping up the stay here at the Obelisk. I mean, how was it? Like, here? Yeah. Fantastic. Guys, it was crazy, but at the same time, what you don't see behind the scenes is I was filming like crazy maniac. I have, mm. I have like three, four new lenses I bought before this trip, and here I really went all out just trying a little bit like detail shots so i hope this was a little bit of a visual experience for you and you enjoyed it so like this video is not to be like oh look at the time we're having actually it's like look at me like running around with the camera and having a good time so overall fantastic hotel super great experience but we're leaving and not just the hotel not just yeah dubai here we're leaving dubai mm -hmm. and we're going to indonesia yes so what, what is special about that for us well because we met there one year ago almost yeah. one and a half Mm -hmm. Time's running, and yeah. uh, how do we meet? Where do we meet? We met in Bali, and yeah. that was actually a funny story. Well, people ask all the time, like, how did you guys meet? <laughs> Sometimes people like watch videos from like two years ago, and they're like, is she <laughs> new? Is she new? Like, she hasn't been around. Like, <laughs> and you know, basically, long story short, like I picked her up our first date. We wanted to get a coffee. Mm -hmm. The back tire of, like of my motorbike busted completely, and like we got stopped by the police. Messy. I think it would be way too long for this uh, for this video, but just like right now we have been like thinking about we're leaving like literally on our way to the airport and this video is definitely about the hotel. So if you want to hear the full story, let me know. So actually right now we have already fully packed. We really have to leave. Uh, our flight is at 8 p.m. and now it's 4.33 and we have to leave before 5 in order right. to get to the airport. What? What? I don't know. And uh, I think we would also like we're planning to film a Q&A together. Yes. So if you have any questions you would us, uh, like us to answer, put them down in the comments below and we're gonna probably do it in the next video. And the next video series will be Indonesia. Jakarta. Seriously, we're late for the airplane, so... Let's go. <laughs> Six years ago, I realized that there is so much more beyond the borders of what you're familiar of. Got a World to See was born, and it is all about living and traveling through different countries, all under the premise of finding more. More opportunity, more adventure, more freedom. <laughs> 